Once upon a time, Pac-Man got a sequel. And instead of calling it Pac-Man 2, they called it Mrs. Pac-Man. And Pac-Man put on a bow and was apparently a woman. Same deal goes with, with the sequel to Explosion Man, the exploding platforming game. Because the sequel is called Mrs. Explosion Man, and you played it? I played it, and it's a great, great game. Um, why is it a great, great game? Why is it a great game? Well, in, in two years ago, mm -hmm. in 2009, uh, Twisted Pixel, this independent developer, created uh, Explosion Man, just like you said. It was, was a great, great game, but really there were, there were things missing. In Miss Explosion Man, two years after, you know, everything is just an improvement. It's, mm. it's, uh, it's the level design is much better, the, the awkward uh, porkiness of the world and, and the madness, uh, you know, the, the humor, everything got uh, notched up to 11, so it's a great, great game. Just in short, what's Explosion Man about? Explosion Man is about the, a couple of mad scientists mm. have created this, well, you could say very stupid uh, kind of experiment uh, where they created a, a humanoid, humanoid form who can actually explode. Mm -hmm. And he can explode three times in order to, to do something, platform it about. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but besides that, there's not, I don't think there's any scientific value to, <laughs> to, to this experiment whatsoever. Uh, anyway, uh, he gets created by uh, default, uh, and, and so uh, everything goes, goes mm. wrong. In Miss Explosion Man, uh, Mr. Explosion Man has been captured mm. in this uh, dome where he can't explode, can't do anything. But, uh, and, and as these scientists uh, celebrate with champagne and all, uh, something goes wrong and Miss Explosion Man is created and the rampage goes on once more. <laughs> So, it's better than the first one. It's better than the first one. Why? And why? <laughs> uh, it is better than the first one because the level design mm -hmm. is totally imminent in, mm. in, this, uh, in, in this title. When you progress to a level, it, it's a 2D platforming uh, game. So, so everything is, is, uh, is the, you have these two dimensional dimensions and, and you use them uh, best you can. But, but it feels like that the level design feels like uh, that these scientists really want to capture uh, Miss Explosion Man and, and they make these traps for her in order to not go further. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you have, as, as, a, as a player, you have to think through these traps, how you, you get from point A to B using, well, basically the little tools that you have. And, and it's interesting how you have to use, you know, logic and rhythm and different kinds of, uh, well, uh, necessities around on, on the uh, on the on the particular level in order to get through. So it's a game about blowing yourself up. It is. It is. That's quirky. It's quirky and it's uh, and it's different in, in some way. You know the the premise of blowing yourself up is is a strange premise, but mm -hmm. you know they use it in in such a way that it's uh, it's uh, you can't but. Uh, but, but surrender to it and, and laugh out loud, simply, mm. because it is very humorous. The first introduction, when you start playing uh, Explosion Man, there is this short video where, 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 where you're introduced to, to how, the, how the game works and, and what parts of the segments of the, of the level, how they work. And, and, and first of all, I was a little disappointed because I thought, well, why don't they use the valve technique? Why not show us instead of mm. tell us, right? But it was so humorous, and, and <laughs> I won't spoil it for anyone. Just play the buy the game and watch it yourself. It's it's really fun. But but um, I thought that that the, this short video and that kind of black humor is is just right what this game needs, you know, in order not to fall into some trivial one button. Mm. Uh, I take myself to to <laughs> serious kind of game. It's not like that at all. When when she walks the, the different levels, uh, Miss Potion Man, she she uh, she has these pop references. So. And she walks in a different way, making uh, ballerina mm. moves, and and it's it's very humorous in its way, and and it's 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 relaxing to you know just play a game, have these very difficult levels, you know, really really hard levels. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it takes quite the tries, you know, and trial and error. It's like Super Meat Boy hard, or it's not less like hard. It's it's less hard because it's more forgiving than Super mm -hmm. Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy, when when Super Meat Boy goes down, you know. Super Meat Boy is brutal. 
it's it's brutal, you know. So and you, boy hates you. It you it does, more. and and you and and you know, you, I come to the point where, where I would break my Xbox. I wouldn't do that with mm. Miss Explosion Man because I there was always this checkpoint, and I always was intrigued, you know, to to go on, to just to see what what comes next. Mm. But but I could still find myself playing for 20 or 25 minutes for a single level mm. going through. And since there are three worlds with 16 to 20 level in each world. It's 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 quite the the massive game, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of content. There's a lot of content. And there's multiplayer too, right? There's multiplayer too, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 bonus content. And as you go through a level, you uh, you, you gain certain points that you could use to to unlock certain uh, extra uh, right, right. bonus elements. One of the bonus elements is actually like a multiplayer mode called Two Girls One Controller, <laughs> which. Reference among other things to uh, to the fact that you can play multiplayer single-handedly. <laughs> so you with the with one with two buttons you control yeah. uh, one uh, Miss Potion Man, and with two other buttons <laughs> you uh, control another uh, Miss Potion Man, and and it is brutal to say the <laughs> least. It is insanely difficult, but it's also a lot of fun. Mm. And, and then, of course, there's also the co-op multiplayer, you know, that you could play locally co-op, you could play co-op over Xbox Live. And this is much more like, you know, you have to explode off each other, so, so there's much more dynamic mm. to it. And right. It really feels like they incorporated a separate uh, co-op experience into the game, just like Portal 2, where you have this, where co-op is not just someone they tagged along, yeah, it's like but, but it's, <laughs> yes, exactly, it's, it's much more versatile and it's much more uh, elaborate in a way. So you said it already by this game, but <laughs> there's no doubt. You have it. There's no doubt in my mind. This is a, a perfect uh, summer experience. Uh, it's fun. It's humorous. It's a great challenge. Buy it right now. <laughs>